Excuse me. I hope you are not in a rush. I am. <gasps> Marcus, Deidre no, from the cafe. Please don't come near me with that. I know, I'm so sorry. Yesterday was the worst day of my life. I lost my shot at my dream job. I'm a loser. You're not a loser. The barista believes in me. I do more than just make you coffee. I design rooftop gardens. <laughs> That's not a thing. I marry modern concepts with nature and bring people joy. What exactly are you doing with your life? I just got off the phone with the board, and the pressure is on. We cannot lose Gwendolyn and Cameron to five-star events like you did the melon wedding. We can't. We were hoping for something more, something natural. But modern. Yes. Like a rooftop garden. If this crazy idea doesn't take everyone's breath away, you are fired. Deirdre, I'm sorry. You were a jerk. Yes. And you apologize to all baristas everywhere. Deeply. Apology accepted. Great, because I got you a job. What? You and I are going to create a rooftop garden for Gwendolyn Milton's wedding. I've never done anything on that scale before. This is the only one you've ever done? Yes. I'm telling them we can't do it. No. This is a great opportunity for both of us. You in? Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> I think we could have a lot of fun layering different plants around the perimeter. Okay, this looks like a lot of work and we don't have a lot of time. I have to hand it to you. You know how to take something you're passionate about and make it happen. I finally feel like my career is moving and I know how to use a hammer now. That garden has changed my life. I'm so grateful that we got to work on this project together and I got to know you. What you've done here is nothing short of pure magic. I couldn't have done any of this without you.